prepared this video to demonstrate the best way to use an interpreter effectively while presenting a workshop. First, let's examine some of the codes of conduct an interpreter is guided by. Accuracy. The interpreter will accurately interpret what is said. Professional. An interpreter should wear professional attire, arrive on time, and be ready to interpret. Proficient. The interpreter should be knowledgeable to the topics he or she will interpret and have a proficient understanding of both languages. There are four important steps to follow for a successful workshop interpretation process. Brief. This is an opportunity to meet with the interpreter a few minutes before the conference begins. Discuss topic, share notes, determine a pausing signal. Hello, my name is Oiden. I'm going to be your interpreter today. Nice to meet you. I'm Daryl. Nice to meet you, Daryl. Um, what's the meeting is about? Oh, here are some notes that I made for our um, session today. Okay. And these are the main topics that I like to cover. Oh, thank you for making notes for me. Uh, I'll translate everything you say, and if you go too fast, I will show you the sign. Okay. So we can pause and I can have time to translate. Thank right. you. Thank you. Clear communication. As a speaker, speak loud and clear. Vice President Johnson, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chief Justice. Pace. Depending on the interpreting system, remember to pause for interpretation. We observe today not a victory of party, but a celebration of freedom. Сегодня мы являемся свидетелями не празднования одной партии, но празднования свободы. Symbolizing an end as well as a beginning. Символизируя начало так же, как и конец. Debrief. This is an opportunity to talk with the interpreter and provide some feedback. So, what do you think? How did it go? Well, I thought it went rather well. The audience seemed rather engaged and they asked questions. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you for watching for the sign and well, I was pausing. trying to pay attention. Thank you, but um, I liked it very much and hope to work with you again. Thank you. It was a pleasure. There are two methods an interpreter can use to interpret what is said at a workshop. Consecutive interpretation and simultaneous interpretation. Let's examine consecutive interpretation first. Consecutive interpretation. Rendering spoken messages from one language to another. Only one person can speak at one time. Pausing for accurate interpretation is important. This is an effective method when providing interpretation for one non-English language. Vice President Johnson, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chief Justice. Vice President Johnson, господин Speaker, председатель Верховного Суда. We observe today not a victory of party, but a celebration of freedom. Сегодня мы являемся свидетелями не празднования одной партии, но празднования свободы. Символизируя начало так же, как и конец. Знаменательных новшеств и перемен. Я принес присягу перед вами и всемогущим Богом. Now let's look at simultaneous interpretation. Rendering a source language into a second language almost simultaneously with the speaker. The speaker will not stop to wait for interpretation. If the speaker is talking too fast, the interpreter might need to signal the speaker to slow down or stop. Simultaneous interpretation is an effective method when providing interpretation in more than one non-English language. Vice President Johnson, Vice President Mr. Johnson Speaker, господин Speaker, господин председатель Верховного Сегодня мы являемся свидетелями не партии, а торжества свободы, символизирующего конец, равно как начало, знаменательных новшеств и перемен. Но я принес перед вами и всемогущим Богом ту же самую торжественную присягу. Additional important tips. Simultaneous interpretation is the method used in workshop settings with the use of interpretation equipment. To use set phones, please turn on on channel 3. Здравствуйте, чтобы использовать микрофоны, пожалуйста, включите на канал 3. Make sure to check volume. Убедитесь, что звук работает. And if you can hear me, raise your hand. Если вы меня слышите, поднимите руку. During simultaneous interpretation, the interpreter should be at the back of the audience. This will help minimize distraction. When the seminar will last more than 25 minutes or will have a question and answer session, it is important to have a second interpreter to alternate the interpretation and facilitate the questions.
Does anyone have any questions for me today? Есть ли у кого-нибудь вопросы ко мне? Yes. Вы не могли бы повторить последнюю часть о свободе? Could you please repeat the last section about freedom? The section on freedom? Часть о свободе? Да. Yes, I'd be happy to. Я буду очень рад это сделать. Freedom is the essential element of a democracy. Свобода является необходимым элементом любой партии демократии. It's the bedrock upon which our nation was founded. Это камень, на котором наша нация была создана. When the original settlers came, when the speaker and the interpreter collaborate to attain the goal of clear communication, the information is transmitted successfully to the audience. We hope this video has helped you to enhance your speaking abilities when confronted with the challenge of communicating with a multilingual audience.